screen readers are one of the most well-known pieces of accessibility software. And one of the leading screen, screen readers that people use is JAWS. JAWS is excellent at stop. It's a very reliable way of navigating a desktop or a laptop computer if you have no vision. But there's a bit more to it than that. And this week we have Joe Lonergan back with us to talk to us about two very useful features, Screen Shade and Picture Smart. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first of all just listen to a brief video presentation that Joe's prepared for us, and then we'll have a chat to Joe afterwards. Hello and welcome to this demonstration. Today I am going to talk about a couple of features built into the JAW screen reader, uh, screen shade and picture smart. For these screen readers um, features to work, you will need a more up-to-date version, JAWS 19 or 20. Screen shade, first of all, is a feature that allows you to work on your computer but have a a screen shade over your screen, um, similar to the screen curtain that people may be more familiar with, which is available in the Apple devices such as the iPhone and the iPad. So how do we turn on screen shade? Well, we use a layered keystroke. A layered keystroke is two keys followed by another key. So it's insert and space followed by F11 and that toggles it on and off. So I'm going to do that now. Space. Screen shade on. So as you can see, my screen has gone black or dark. Um, also another good uh, reason for doing this is it reduces its layer. It does not help with battery life, um, according to Freedom Scientific. So the other reason you might need it is um, you might want more privacy when on a public transport, maybe you're on a train or a bus using your uh, laptop, or you might be in a public place and you could be typing in pin codes or uh, you could be viewing your transact your banking transactions things like that so that's a really good feature and uh, i use it a lot so another um, feature we're going to talk about today is picture smart i'm going to leave the screen shade on while we're doing the picture smart and then i'll turn it off at the end to see to reveal what kind of picture we um, see is picture smart doing a good job so uh, i'm going to um Go to my camera roll. Window D. File Explorer. Explorer. I don't this box. C. C. Camera roll checked. 528. Pictures checked. 428. C. Camera roll checked. Five enter. Camera roll not checked. 528. So camera I'm roll not checked. Gonna wait for that to load and then I'm gonna press end. 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 Wait to zero to zero zero. So end. I'm at the end now and I, I, that's my most. I'm going to end because that's my most recent picture that I've taken. So this is a bit blind photography, so we'll see how it goes. With zero, with zero, 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 zero. I'm going to do uh, the layer keystroke. The keystroke for picture smart is another layer keystroke. So it's insert in space, space. followed by P, P picture smart. then F for file. Picture smart is in progress. And it tells us that picture smart is in progress. So it's sending the picture to the internet to be analyzed. And hopefully it's going to come back and let us know what's in this picture. This can also be useful if you wanted to verify pictures and before you put them into a PowerPoint slide, or maybe just out of curiosity, you want to see what's in the picture. So it's still. Heading level two caption is a couple of long chairs sitting on the side of a building. Heading level four, this object probably appears as a photo toy vehicle. Heading level three, these acts describe the photo backyard, building, grass, ground, outdoor. Heading level three, these acts probably describe the photo house, playground, yard. Heading level three, these acts possibly describe the photo chicken coop, garden, lawn, plant, play, shed. Heading level three, this act vaguely describes the photo hand cart. Hand cart. So I'll turn off the screen shade and see what the picture looks like. Space. Screen shade off. Enter. Hand cart. Heading level three, this act vaguely just escape. Land. With zero to. Width zero enter. Photos. Width zero two zero zero seven zero. It's supposed to be a picture of a log cabin um, with certain things, kids' toys outside it and plants, and it's supposed to got some of the some of it right. So okay, four. Uh, camera roll. I don't do multi we'll try, with zero. We'll try another one. Width zero two zero zero seven zero. This is a picture of a housing estate. So here we go. Space. D picture smart. 
Picture spot is in progress. It takes a little while, approximately a minute, to um, come back and give us the results. So we're going to wait patiently. Heading level 2 captured is a car parked on the side of the road. Heading level 4 is text appears in the photo radii. Race 0561725163 sale of Heading level 4 is objects probably appear in the photo car flower pot. Heading level 3 is acts describe the photo asphalt, grass, lane, outdoor, public space, road, sky. Heading level 3 is acts probably describe the photo infrastructure, parking, parking lot, plant, road surface, sidewalk, tree, vehicle, waste container. Heading level 3 is act possibly describes the photo way. And that was an excellent um, description there. We got, um, we even found out one of the houses was sale agreed, and there was cars in the picture, and a roadway, and some grass. So as you can see, it, could, it could be a very useful um, feature for you, and um, it can only get better. Thank you very much. So thanks for covering those features, Joe. Good to have you back on the show with us as well. Some some very useful features there. Thanks very much, Jude. Yeah, um, yeah, very useful. Uh, it does come in handy uh, sometimes, especially in this world where uh, a lot of things have gone picture based with um, the rise of Instagram and Facebook and things like that. Um, and also it's good for verifying pictures, as as I said there already. Yeah, yes. very good. So so um, I guess there's still kind of development going on with some of these sort of things. Is there any improvements we can expect in JAWS 2021? Yeah, so um, JAWS uh, 21 is um, due out soon. Usually this time of year they release the um, update. So we um, in the beta release, they said we can expect um, it to gather its analysis results from more um, services. So at the moment, it's um, taken its um, AI from Microsoft. So they're going to use um, be able to drag information from more services, probably from maybe Google and um, could be uh, Facebook, things like that. So they're going to be able to, there's going to be a little link on it called um, more results and uh, it will allow you to gather more artificial intelligence so give your it'll give more description to your pictures um yeah. there'll be also a keystroke for doing that so as i said it's a, it's a layered keystroke so you can memorize it um it's two keys followed by another shift space and p and if you forget any of the um, keystrokes involved in picture smart you can do shift uh, or no sorry in, sorry it was insert space and P, I made a mistake there. Insert p space and P, but you can follow that by a question mark, and it'll give you more. It'll give you more um, uh, keystrokes. Very good. Uh, yeah, and um, as I said, the screen shade as well, and that that's still, that'll still be available, and it's it's, it's also very useful. I, I know some yeah. people that suffered from even the screen layer. Um, it doesn't give any layer off the screen, so that's 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 quite good. Apart from the privacy, uh, the um, it gives you more privacy as well. So there. Yeah. That's interesting, actually, because I was I was going to say how widely used are these features likely to be? Because there will be some settings, for example, screen shade. If it's not saving your battery, you might not need privacy ne necessarily. But uh, that's a that's an interesting application. Just talking about the glare as well. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, the glare definitely. I I know a lot of people that that can't read um, text, but depending on their eye condition, they still get affected by glare fairly badly, like, you know, especially if you're working on the computer eight hours a day. I know I, I get affected by it sometimes, even though I can't read print. Um, so it, that, that's, that is a good use for it. And um, I said uh, the, the privacy feature and uh, as well goes along with it. But um, yeah, it, it's just one out there for hopefully it'll help a few people, you know? Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, very good. And yeah. and even that idea of using a device when you're on uh, when you're on public transport or anything like that. Not that at the moment anybody can be nearby us or we can use public transport too easily, but certainly something for, for when we're back into that routine again. Um, exactly, yeah. Yeah, knowing yeah. those kind of privacy features are important. Yeah, yeah, so, um, and JAWS, JAWS 21. When, when JAWS 21 does come out, um, it does have a few more features as well. There's there's going to be a, an assistant involved uh, called. Um, it's actually going to be called Sharky. It's it's probably not going to be as as uh, like Alexa, but it, it, you will be able to talk to your computer and uh, ask it for um, keystrokes and ask it for to open certain part of the settings and stuff like that. So if you forget anything like this, uh, using any of these keystrokes, that, that'll be quite useful. So I'm looking forward to the new update and um, looking forward to testing it and seeing, seeing how it goes. 
Interesting. Yeah, well, we'll look forward to seeing how that works and we'll uh, maybe mention that on a future live event as well when we get a chance to check that out as well. So thanks very much for going through Picture Smart and Screen Shade and what we can expect from JAWS 2021 as well. Appreciate that, Joe. No problem, Joe. Thanks.